Sorry? Hi. Hi. The Cooksleys from West Sussex are a very happy family. We're extremely close, we are, aren't we? We are very close, very actually, close. yeah. And it's nice because we've always been that way. Two and a half year old Lewis is a lovely little boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. 30 year old insurance kiss. claims handler Nikki Come is a very you, loving Lewis. mum. Come give Birdie a kiss. Go, hello, Lewis. Come and give me a kiss then. Is that it? And 35 year old Paul, a customer service representative who's been on top oh, of the pops 43 times, is the ultimate dad. I love playing games with, with Lewis, it's fantastic. I'm a big kid myself. But despite this, all is not well in the Cooksley household. He will not eat anything with the slightest lump in, anything that's got um, peas in, sweet corn, anything like that. He usually sort of gags on it and, and makes himself sick. Oh, you've got a nice, you've got a nice tea tonight. A nightmare. Breakfast, there's days that he won't even try a mouthful of it. <coughs> to be honest, I, I give up even trying to bother giving him lunch. You're going to eat your tea? No. Yeah, you're going to eat it for daddy? No. Please. I am worried sick that because he's not eating, he's going to get seriously affected by it. Just just one mouthful. Let's try a little bit for mum. <coughs> Go on. Last chance. No. No. There it goes. It's got to go in the bin now, isn't it, yet again? There's only one way to get Lewis to eat. Roast dinners, which he absolutely adores, he will only touch if it's a uh, consistency of that you could drink in a bottle. That should be satisfactory. It's frustrating because he will eat things like chocolate, crisps, you name it, anything that is not good for him, he will eat. You shouldn't be having two of these because you didn't eat your tea. But Daddy gives them to you because he thinks that... Um, it's Mom, better Mom, to have something than nothing, isn't it? Mom, calm down. It can get quite vicious, quite quite nasty at times. It's almost like that he's just gone so long without anything to eat that, that he is getting very, very ratty. And without enough energy to keep Lewis going through the night, no one in the family is getting any sleep. He'll wake usually round about 10 or 11. We end up, both of us, having an extremely disturbed night because he then usually is awake more or less every half an hour. What's the matter, Lewis? It's just unbelievably tiring all the time. Some mornings, you know, I get up and I'm just totally, totally drained. I cry quite a lot over Lewis. I think it all stems from the fact that I'm so worried about him not eating for so long that is he going to die? I'm going to eat some eggs for Mummy. No. Pardon? Yes? No. Lewis's ideal meal would be French fries, no. probably followed by a bar of chocolate, followed by a bag of crisps, followed by a yoghurt. Yeah. My ideal meal for, for him would be something like a roast dinner. If he could have one solid day of having good food and no problems with that, then I would be extremely made up. Come on, then. That would be a very big achievement. Oh, I would be over the moon.